This is the most important result in Higgs physics since the discovery of the Higgs boson. We have probed the Higgs boson coupling to the top quark by observing TTH associated production. So what does all of this mean? What is the Higgs boson coupling to the top quark? Why is it important? What is TTH associated production? What links the two together? What result did we get? And why is it interesting? In five minutes. So let's start with coupling. Coupling is another word for interaction strength. We're measuring how strongly the Higgs boson interacts with a top quark. Why is this number so important? One of the most unique features of the Higgs boson is how it interacts with other particles. Because it's a part of the mechanism that gives mass to all particles, the interaction strength is proportional to a particle's mass. The heavier a particle, the stronger it will interact with the Higgs. Now the top quark is the heaviest particle that we know. So the coupling of the Higgs to the top quark should be the strongest. And measuring it is a very precise test of our understanding of the particle world. But perhaps the most exciting result would be if it didn't agree with predictions. That's because this coupling is not only sensitive to the properties of the Higgs boson, but also to the existence of new undiscovered particles. So finding a disagreement with our theory could actually signal a discovery. So how can we measure the Higgs coupling to top quarks? Well, first, let's look at how we measure couplings to other particles. This is done by looking at how the Higgs boson decays. If it interacts strongly with a given particle, it's more likely to decay into particles of this type. So we measure the couplings by measuring the probabilities of the Higgs decaying in different ways. We were able to do this for several different particles, but not the top quark. The problem is that the Higgs cannot decay into top quarks because they're too heavy. Even a single top quark is almost 50% heavier than the Higgs boson, so the decay into a top quark pair is not possible. You cannot have something lighter disintegrate into something heavier. So how can we probe the coupling then? Well, there is another way. Not by looking at decay into top quarks, but by looking at production from top quarks. Just like decay probability depends on coupling, production probability depends on coupling. The problem is that the whole interaction, production, decay, it happens in the tiniest instant, about 10 to the minus 22 seconds. And in our detector, we can only see what's left after the interaction. So for example, if the Higgs decays into two photons, we'll see two photons. So we can tell how the Higgs decayed, but how can we tell how it was produced? Well, here's the trick that we used for this measurement. We look for cases when, in addition to the Higgs boson, also two top quarks can be found in a collision. Well, actually, a top quark and a top anti-quark. Now, this is the thing that we're calling associated production of the Higgs boson with two top quarks, or TTH for short. Now, why is seeing the Higgs with two tops telling us something about how the Higgs was produced? That's a consequence of how such a configuration can appear. There's basically only two possibilities. Either two pairs of top quarks are created, and the top from one pair fuses with the anti-top from the other pair, creating a Higgs boson, or a single top quark pair is created, and the Higgs boson can be radiated by one of the quarks. In both cases, we end up with a Higgs and two top quarks. And in both cases, the Higgs was produced from the top. So looking at this final state, we're actually directly probing the coupling of the Higgs to the top quark. Why did we need six years to see this? Well, the measurement is actually very difficult. Just like the Higgs boson, both top quarks will immediately decay. And just like the Higgs, they can decay in different ways. So many different final states are possible. And the data is then analyzed by several teams of 10, 50 people, each team looking for the Higgs and the top quarks yielding a particular combination of particles in the final state. But none of them can make the discovery alone. The problem is that the, the TTH process is extremely rare. Producing a Higgs boson is rare in itself. And the TTH process is only about 1% of all Higgs production. So to be able to see it, we had to combine the results from all of these analyses. This was years of work from hundreds of people. Interestingly, in the end, it was possible to make this measurement much earlier than we had expected, thanks to the great performance of the LHC and our detectors, but mainly thanks to the hard work of all these people. They came up with very clever methods for squeezing every last bit of information from the data. But is this measurement only interesting because it was hard? No, it's also because of the result. We have now seen that the Higgs does interact with the top quark, by observing TTH-associated production. And we have measured the interaction to be about 
25% stronger than our theory predicts. But the uncertainty of this measurement is about 25%. So in fact, within the uncertainties, the measurement is so far consistent with theory. But the more collision data we collect, the more precise our result. So with more data, we'll be able to test this agreement with better precision. And if some new discovery is hiding in there, we're now tightening the net.